Juwan, you got us okay? Yes. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Good, good. Appreciate you joining us. We'll uh, we'll kick it off with questions, and we'll go straight to Adam Teicher with ESPN. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Juwan. Uh, congratulations on signing with the Chiefs, and welcome to Kansas City. Um, uh, Brad, I'll have a second question after this as well. What have they told you about a position, and have you ever wanted to play left tackle? Is that a goal of yours? Uh, hey, Adam, thanks so much. Uh, yes, I, I was definitely told about the left tackle position, but I feel like I'm definitely able, uh, athletic enough to make the switch over and uh, very, very versatile. So I feel like I can go out and make the switch uh, pretty seamless. But, you know, at the end of the day, if they need me to switch over and play other positions, I'm open to doing that. I'm just here to try to help this team win championship. Okay, and what kind of transition is that for you, going from one side to the other? Uh, you know, left tackle, right tackle, just a flip of the hips, honestly. Um, other than that, if, if you're athletic enough and you trust your feet and, uh, you know, you, you got great coaching as well, which I know that's here, uh, I feel like the, the transition will be pretty good. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Brad, I'll have one other question, too. Um, hey, Juwan, c congratulations. Like like Adam said, I looked back to 2017. It looked like you had two games at left tackle in Florida. I know that's a, a while ago now. Just what do you right. remember about that experience? Uh, it was fun. You know, at, at the time we had a couple injuries on the team and, uh, you know, we had to move guys around on the line and they trusted me to go over there and play left tackle for the last two games of the season. So um, now I have the opportunity to play it again. I'm very, very uh, excited for it and I'm embracing the opportunity. So, um, you know, I'm just getting ready to go. and uh, I should be ready to go by the time we report back. Doug is a, a former offensive coordinator here in Kansas City. Just what did he mean for your growth as a player down there? Meant a lot. Uh, great coach, great leader. Um, he, he was he was amazing. I uh, have nothing but great things to say about him and uh, going to miss him for sure. Let's go next to Nate Taylor with The Athletic. Go ahead, Nate. Hello, Juwan. Uh, congratulations on the deal. Um, when you're doing free agency for the first time, um, how many teams were involved? And when did it become clear to you that the Chiefs were um, a possibility for you? Um, it was a good amount of teams involved, but uh, once free agency opened up, I had, you know, my agent told me about the possibility that Chiefs wanted to get me. And, uh, you know, once the negotiation process happened, I just felt like, you know, it was a, a great opportunity, an opportunity I couldn't pass up. So uh, I went with it. And we've uh, we've seen, obviously, guys before talk about how they've been um, interested in playing for a championship team. Just does it give you confidence that someone like Orlando Brown went from right tackle to left tackle and had success? You know, Almost. Was that part of your thought process as well? Most definitely. Um, you know, he's a great player with great feet as well. Very long, uh, very versatile guy. So uh, seeing guys like that be able to transition over is, is amazing to see. So it gives me, you know, a lot of courage and hope and knowing I can do it too. Let's go next to Matt Derrick with Chiefs Digest. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Joan, like the others, welcome to Kansas City. Thank you. Uh, obviously, Doug's offense has a lot of similarities to, to the Chiefs offense. How much did that influence your decision? And ultimately, why did you end up choosing Kansas City? Uh, it definitely influenced my decision. Like you said, they have similarities. So, uh, you know, and learning offense is nothing new to me. I've learned a new offense every year since I've been in the NFL. So uh, that was the least of my worries. Um, but the, the reason I chose it, I just felt like it was a great opportunity, a uh, chance to play under Coach Andy Reid and play with great players like Mahomes and Kelsey and other guys that's on the team. And I felt like it was a great opportunity. And, and uh, you know, I just want to embrace change. I never lived outside of Florida ever in my life. So I uh, have an opportunity to come try something new and be on a great, great organization. I was, I was all for it. Let's go next to Todd Lieber with 810 Radio. Go, Todd. Hey, Juwan, a couple things. First off, um, you, you faced the Chiefs a couple of times last year. I know you're not right. thinking about where you're going to play, you know, when the season's over. But when, when you watched the Chiefs and you were in those games, were you somewhere in the back of your head thinking maybe this is a, a kind of offense or a team I'd like to play with? Uh, you always think about that stuff. Um, you know, just seeing the, the great teams in the league, you see the, the system they run, you know what team you will be fitted in better. And uh, I feel like with this team, I definitely would, would fit in. And uh, this this scheme, I would fit in because it's similar to what I already was running. So, uh, you know, and when the opportunity presented itself, I was I was, knew I would be ready to go. When you were there in Jacksonville, I mean, a lot of, you know, turnover with coaches and all that kind of stuff. When you look at the Chiefs from afar, you see a very stable franchise, same head coach for a long time. Are you looking forward to maybe some comfort that way? Or was it a little odd the last few years down there in Jacksonville with all the changes? 
Oh, uh, no. Uh, you know, I'm used to embracing change. Uh, I've been used to it. So uh, having the, the opportunity to have change in different cultures, different cultures and stuff, it wasn't too hard for me to adjust. I'm easy to adapt and stuff. But hopefully, with uh, you know, Coach Reed being here, I'll be able to finally get comfortable in one offense and uh, I won't have to learn a new one again. Hopefully, it's the last one I have to learn for a while. So I definitely look forward to it. We've got two more. Let's go Nick Jacobs and then Karen. Go ahead, Nick. And Brad, I'll have a follow up. First one drawn for you. Who's the offensive line coach from your football career so far that really had the biggest impact on you and kind of helped shape the offensive lineman you are? Uh, I would definitely say Coach George Warhop. He definitely helped me because he was the one that uh, was my first NFL line coach who, uh, you know, he had an impact on me uh, and, and helped me better my game in all aspects. And he was a coach that drafted me out of Jacksonville. So um, that was fun. And uh, also Coach Phil Roster, the coach I just had this year, he was amazing. Um, you know, he fiery coach, great, great um, guy overall. And uh, he definitely helped my game, take take my game to another level this year. And then now that you've kind of been in Kansas City for probably maybe less than 24 hours, what's your initial impressions of the of the town here? And also what have your interactions been like with Coach Reed, Brett Beach, and have you got to talk to Pat Mahomes yet? I love the town. Um, that's the first thing. I love it. Um, I'm, I'm a guy who's laid back. I don't do much. I'm always at the house. So uh, it, it's best. It's definitely a place I can focus and just focus on ball and uh you know, I, I love the environment and uh, the conversation with Coach uh, with Coach um, Reed and um, Brett Beach. Everyone's went very well. Uh, it was an amazing time with those guys. They're very welcome and accommodating to me and my family. Uh, I did have the opportunity to speak to Mahomes. He's a very great guy. I could tell already he's a great leader, very laid back guy. So can't wait to go out there and battle with him. We'll go last to Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Give another shot there, Miss Karen. I hit the unmute button for you. Hey. Hello, hey. hello. Can you hear me now? Hello. Hi, welcome to Kansas City. So Thank good to you. see you. Good to see you too. Now, did, before I ask my real question, did you really say you never lived anywhere but Florida? Like you haven't lived in snow and ice <laughs> and all those things? Yes, man. I never lived out of Florida ever in my life. My whole 25 years, I've always lived in Florida, went to college in Florida. So uh, it's definitely going to be a different move for me, but I'm excited for it. Well, get a snow shovel because we get some of that here. Yes, but anyway, <laughs> wanted to ask you, you talk about Patrick Mahomes, but you do know he's one of these guys that can improvise and take a broken down play and move and kind of the offensive linemen have to adjust a little bit to him. Are you looking at that as an exciting opportunity? Do you see that as a big challenge? How do you view his mobility as affecting your job? Uh, I don't feel like it affects my job at all, honestly. Uh, if I have to hold my block longer, I have to do that. But at the end of the day, I know he can use his feet too. So if he needs to go out and create a play with his feet, he can do that. So I'm excited, honestly, to be able to play with a guy of this caliber and uh, go out there and keep him upright. So uh, I'm definitely excited. John, we appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you all so much. Nice to meet everyone. You too. All right, all right guys, hang tight. We'll have Charles coming our way before long here.